Hello and welcome back everybody to episode 7 of Medieval Dynasty. My name is Lainey from Early Gaming and last time we worked on our storage. We have a beautiful new food store over there as well as a storage for our workers to deposit all of their goods. Now you might wonder why would I need that when I have no workers? Well, just, just for now, just for now, because I am getting them. Now today we are going to tackle the world of commerce. Yes. We're going to go sell our goods. Now, I need to look through all my boxes to see what I can actually make. Because I came over here and the options are, let's be real, not too great. I can make axes. I can make knives. I can make hoes. And I'm pretty sure I could also make some wood tools, but I doubt these sell for anything. First things first, let's just knock out some of these. And now, just to be sure, let's look at the price for them. This one sells for 30 the stone axe sells for 40, but let's see how much more expensive it is to make it. This one's 5 sticks, 2 rocks. 10 sticks, 2 rocks. Each stick by itself is worth 1. Yeah, so I think stone knife is worth it. I don't think the I don't think the hatchet is worth it more because it's just extra it's just extra sticks for 10 more gold, but 10 extra sticks will sell for 10. Does that make sense? Yeah, so uh, it's definitely worth to make the skinning knife. We're gonna craft them all. I need more stone, but we'll get it in a second. Let's get these done first. Now the stone hoe over here sells for 90, and the cost to make it is actually not too, too bad. The raw cost of the skinning knife here is 7, and this one is 14, so it's doubled. But this one only pays up 30 gold, where this one pays up 90 gold. Look, we're gonna make all of these. Let's hope for the best. I just hope that the stone hoes aren't super, super heavy. <laughs> I have a feeling that they will be. Oh man, I'm running out of food and water. I gotta take care of that right after this. Oh, okay. My water. Oh, I can't move. No, I'm gonna die here. Okay, we're gonna have to drop something. We're gonna have to drop something quickly. Um, the stakes. Oh man, I really hope I can pick these up after. I need some water. I'm going to die. Ah, oh, delicious. Sweet relief. Sweet relief. Okay team, we are a bit slow. But we're making our way, slowly but surely, to Veronica. The town is right here. It's not too far away from where we are, so that's really lovely. <gasps> Clay! Clay, clay, clay. Nice. So there's clay directly on our path from our home to Veronica. That's very, very exciting. Look how much there is, too. This is insane. And we gotta get working on the smithy because I think that's the only way we're gonna get the scythe, which is the only way that I'm gonna be able to get my garden. I'm falling behind, team. I'm falling behind. But I need to sell some of these goods first. I'm absolutely broke. Good day, good citizens of Veronica. Let's trade. Norbert is our man. I'll sell him all the stuff. I will go now, Norbert. Thank you so much. He did he did really well. Guys, we have 416 coin. Is this enough to pay our taxes? <laughs> How sad. That was all we had. Yes, yes. Our debt will be paid. I'm I'm super excited. I'm super excited. That worked out just fine. I gotta say, guys, the stone hoe. That was. That was worth it. That was really worth it. Now, the only problem I have with it is that it's heavy. So I can only bring about 9 or so, maybe 15 or so if I was to bring nothing else. But that would still give me a nice amount of gold. So we're looking good, guys. I think we're going to be in, in good shape if I just keep making stuff. Let's see how much money we can make today. It would take a big weight out of my shoulders if I paid the taxes. It would. But... It is already kind of late in the day, so I suppose it would be kind of cool if I stay- What is she doing? She's glitching out over here. How did I not notice this this whole time? <laughs> Look at her, poor girl. Poor girl, can you move a little bit? There you go, child. Oh, so, so much better. Oh, you don't want to talk to strangers. I understand, I understand. Uh, we're gonna talk to this man over here. And something I did notice, guys, is that I need to start raising my diplomacy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just talk to everybody and hope that they like me. Now, from what I can tell, it doesn't actually matter whether they like you or not. 
So what I think I want to do is I want to start raising this up. And I think the only way to raise this up, you see, there's only one little shield here and plus one. If I put more points into this, it might give me plus two and plus three. But every interaction with the with the neighborhood or the people seems to give me that. Now, if you don't know, when you talk to them, you ask if they have a minute, you talk to them about whatever you want. Sometimes you'll get the approval here or not. So there you have it. But you also get negative sometimes. Yeah, that happens. And then he'll stop talking to you. But I'm pretty sure that it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure that I, even if I get negatives, at least I'm talking to them. And just talking to them in general will give me diplomacy. Yeah, and he won't have any more time for me. I'll go away. It's fine. I'll keep doing this with everybody. Tomira, age 20. Wait a second. She liked hunting and she liked hard work? Yeah. She said... Tomira, you might be a better wife than Sibora. Have I found my woman? I mean, she's 20. A little bit younger than Sabora, even. Which is kind of crazy, because she definitely looks older than Sabora, but it doesn't matter. Looks aren't everything, guys. Looks aren't everything. And if this woman is a hard-working woman... Tamira, you might be coming to town. Okay. I can't really talk to her anymore. She's done talking to me. Oh, no. Guys. Big F. Major C block. Tomira is a married woman. It was too good to be true. Tomira, you're a wonderful lady. You have a very lucky husband. And there's nothing left to say other than that. And this child is stuck again. Okay, so we're talking to Witomir now here. And he needs some crafting materials and he wants us to get it for them. Okay, it's fine. We'll go ahead and take it. Let's see what, let's see what it is. We go to the journal here, we'll be able to see. He only wants seven rocks for 50 coin and 15 dynasty? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I don't care how long it takes me. We're getting these rocks. And if we had, if we had a pickaxe, we could get these. Oh, tragedy, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna find them on the ground, you just have to believe. Ooh. A chest to rob. A wooden hoe. Excellent. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, I've noticed that you can put it in your bars, equip it. It's a well-known thing. And now it's yours. It's no longer red. That means now we can sell it. It's actually incredible. It sells for 50, too. Oh, the hoes are the best, I think. They're heavy, but they're really good. I, I also need to check on how much uh, the firewood sells for, because I think I'm pretty sure that's going to be good, too. All right, we're only a couple away. Let's get him. There it is. There it is. Oh, there's more rocks. <laughs> of course, once you find them, you find all of them. But I don't want this guy to go to sleep. No, 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 please don't go to bed yet. Don't go to bed. Oh, I need to make a torch. Don't go to bed. I need, I need this money. I've got it all. I've got it all. Take it, please. Yes. Well done. Well done. Thank you, man. Okay, so we have taken another quest because we're crazy, and I don't know why, but we have done it. Oh, she wants two flax and four leather. I have the leather at home. I'm not concerned about that. The flax? I might have to buy that. Okay, Jeremy over here also has a problem. He wants us to get rid of some wolves for him. I can do that, no problem. He said thank you. Excellent. And guys, you can see it is very, very late. Uh, I have no way of finishing these quests right now. The flax I'm gonna have to go buy. I might have to get it at the main town, but that's okay. And this other quest is... Three wolves. Easy as day for 50 coins. 17 stone arrows and 30 dynasty reputation. This is profit, guys. This is profit. But for tonight, guys, I'm heading home. I'm picking up the leather for her, of course. And in the morning, we're gonna go to the other town. So, if you look at the map here, we are currently in Veronica. We're gonna, maybe we'll stop at Borovo, I don't know. But we're definitely gonna stop at Gostovia. We need to pay our taxes. We need to visit Sibora, just in case, you know, she still likes us. And we also need to pick up whatever other quest that is, because there's another question mark here. 
Very, very important. Okay. So that's our plan thus far. We're going to get that done in the morning, of course. Let's head home. All right, guys. So we got up nice and early, took a bath, and, and now we're heading really quickly to go Stovia. Now, these quests need to be done by today. If they're not done today, then they're going to cancel out and ruin my reputation. So I'm going to head to Gustovia, try to find if I can buy that flax. Maybe I stop by this other town here, Borovo, and check really quickly. But, but yeah, the quests kind of cancel out, the ones you have taken at the end of the, the season, I suppose. I found that the hard way. The hard way when I failed Sabora on her quest. So I'm not going to do that again. No, I am not. I need to find this flax, and I need to find these wolves. Today. Nothing over there. Eggs and tools. We can't have that. I, I wonder if going through the water makes me dirty. I don't think so. I think it would make me clean, if anything. So I'm going to drink a little bit, and we're going to go visit our beautiful Sephora. As well as pay our taxes, and hopefully buy this flax. Please. Please, if everything goes perfect today. We will have the, the most wonderful end to the spring that I've ever that I could have ever conceived. Just this one time. Just this once. Good day, good citizens of Gostovia. I am back. Let's see what we got. Please have some flax. Please. I promised it. I'm going to fail. Nope, this man has none. He ha does have some manure, however, and I do need some. So let's go ahead and get... I don't know. Six, 15 manure. Okay. That's fine. I'll take that with me. Goodbye. Come on. Oh, she does have some good stuff, though. She has onion seed. She has rye grain, which we already have, but she has wheat grain as well. All right, we're buying this. We're buying this. Can we afford this and still pay our taxes? We're about to find out. Let's get some onions. Should be good, but again, no flax. Okay, I'm still in a panic. Let's see if there's anybody else who can sell me stuff. Uni Ghost. He has to have it. Good morning, Uni. Here we go. Paying my taxes. Yes. Okay. Okay, I leveled a lot. Some stuff went on in there. This guy is hot, though. Let's show me your wares. Yes. 600. Oh, that's so expensive. There's no way that's worth 600. He has flax. I need four of these, okay? Given to me. Very nice. Accepted. Um, do we just not have money? Oh, yep. Yeah, we're out of money. Oh, that's expensive. That's expensive. Our taxes are so vulgar. We're out of money completely, and I was hoping to buy a little goosely. Oh. I want some eggs. Okay, well, I can't really afford anything else. All right, so now it's just on. I gotta hunt, and then I gotta turn in my quest. I'm pretty sure there's wolves here. There's wolves somewhere. Let's cross the road here. <gasps> there he is. Okay, I found one, I found one, I found one. We're gonna crouch. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> How do I reload? Bo, oh, please. Equip the arrows. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing it again. Oh no! Oh! That scared me so much. Oh, this is so weird to shoot. It was so weird to shoot. I'm not used to that. Look at my health, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is, um... That's not good. <laughs> Let's see if we can find some heals around here. I found some broadleaf plantains, so we're gonna take these. Just gives me a little bit of health. That's something. But it's, uh, it's a bit rough. I'm out of arrows already. We need to bring more arrows. That's what I'm getting at here. That was, uh, that was unpleasant, to say the least. I need one more wolf, though, so I, I think I need to risk it. 
I can't get hit, so I gotta be really good about this. Just really, actually, immensely amazing. But that's fine. Let's make ourselves some trusty, trusty spears and go for it. Got him. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. We did it. We did it. Never doubt me. No health and no problem. Let's get out of here. Time to turn in these quests. The wolves are dead, Jeremy. Yeah, you're welcome. 17 stone arrows. <laughs> yes. All right, and now Niestaka. There we go. There we have it. <laughs> Quest complete. Nice. Very nice indeed. Now, unfortunately, guys, everybody in this town that is right next to my house, every, every approachable lady is married. Okay, a piggy. My health is so low. This is dangerous. Whew. Yes. <laughs> oh, chapter five, a farm. It's getting a little bit late, though. I don't see any more arrows. And I wanted to see if I can make it to Gostovia again. Because I have a little bit of a plan. I want to talk to Sabora. And I need to do a quest for one of my friends over there. I, I don't know if I'll have time by the end of the night. I really don't. It might get too dark for me. But if it gets too dark, I'll just pick up some straw and I'll head back home. It's not a big deal. We've had an action-filled day. It's been wonderful. It's been worth it. Sabora, Are you home? Oh, no. <gasps> yes! My lady. Hello there. Yes. I admired her dedication to her work. She liked that. She liked that very much. She is a hard-working woman. She might be marriage material, after all. I admire her honesty. Oh. She appreciated that. She tries to be as honest as she can. You know, I, I think Sabora might actually be the one. Now, oh, these are bad. <laughs> you know I'm quite strong. It works like a charm on ladies. Does it, though? Does it? And I recently went hunting and took down a bear. What do I think she will think of all of these lies? I will say I killed the bear. Oh, no. Sure you did. And I'm the queen. I like her. I like her a lot. Okay, goodbye, Sabora. We're doing okay, at least. Thank you for speaking to me. No, I'm gonna join these fine people here at the fire in Gostovia. Gentlemen, ladies, it has been a pleasure. Summer is almost upon us, and this spring went wonderfully. We paid our taxes before even the first season ended. If we really wanted to focus on making money, we would be flushed. We might want to start working on that somewhat because I do want to buy some things that are necessary for our survival. I want to be able to make flour. I want to be able to buy my little chickens, my little piggies, everything I need. We've gotten a lot of skills. We've gotten a nice amount of reputation for our dynasty. So I'm hoping on the next one, we will be able to hire one of these wonderful people. Well, maybe not that guy, but one of these fine ladies to be our first villager. I hope you enjoyed our money-making adventure. Yes, it all went to the tax man, but the tax man must have his cut. So thank you everybody for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.